All materials on Earth are made up of atoms. There are around a hundred different atoms called elements. All the elements have been sorted into a particular order in a table called the periodic table. Elements with similar properties are grouped together on the periodic table. The staggered red line separates the elements according to their general properties, with metals on the left of the red line and non-metals to the right. So when you look at the metal elements, there may be ones that you recognise. For example, copper, iron and gold. There may well be here other elements that you didn't realise were metals. For example, calcium. But all of these elements, to the left of that red line, have similar properties. On the right hand side, are all the non-metals, for example, oxygen and chlorine. Many of these are gases at room temperature, but you also have elements that, such as carbon, which are solid at room temperature. All of the metal elements have similar properties to each other, and in the same way, all of the non-metal elements have similar properties with each other. We're going to go through the general properties of metals and non-metals. Metals are shiny. Non-metals are dull. Metals are sonorous, which means they ring when they are hit. Non-metals are not sonorous. Metals are malleable. This means that you can hammer them into different shapes. However, non-metals are brittle. If you were to hammer a non-metal, it would just break apart. Metals are ductile, which means that they can be drawn into wires. But non-metals are brittle. Again, these non-metals would just break apart, so you couldn't actually draw them into wires. Metals generally have a high density, whereas non-metals have a low density. Metals are good conductors of heat, whereas non-metals are not. And finally, metals are generally good conductors of electricity, whereas non-metals are not. There are some elements that lie very close to the line that separates the metals and the non-metals and we call these metalloids. Metalloids have properties that are in between that of metals and non-metals. So for these elements you might find that some of their properties are very similar to metals and some of their properties are similar to non-metals. Both metals and non-metals can react with each other in chemical reactions. For example, the metal sodium can react with chlorine to make sodium chloride, or the non-metal sulphur may react with another non-metal, like oxygen, to make sulphur dioxide. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at GCSErevisionMonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.